welcome back to Cracksoid. It's been a while. I haven't uploaded any videos on this channel. Now I'm back and I'll be uploading videos regularly. And thank you very much for supporting Cracksoid. Today in this video I'll give you the review and installation process of Nusantara Project version 3.2 based on Android 11 on Redmi Note 8. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see this Nusantara OS is based on Android 11 and Android security patch level of August 5, 2021. Also you can see kernel versions and build number as well. In this Nusantara project we have MIUI camera and this camera works perfectly in this room. Also there is play store. Although you have to install G apps additionally from now and later in this video, I will also show the installation process as well. Now I'll long press on home screen and go to settings. There are lots of menus available. First there is icons menu from where we can set icon shape and below there is home screen menu. At last there is double tap option from where we can set actions while double tapping on home screen. I have selected volume panel so that when I double tap on my home screen volume panel will open. Again I will go to settings section and at last there is miscellaneous option from where you can allow home screen rotation and hide apps too. Now I will check styles and wallpaper section. There are some wallpapers available. You can see these kind of wallpapers and there is grid section from where you can select grid size from 3 into 3 to 5 into 5. And at last there is clock section available which I like a lot. As you can see there are lots of lock screens, clock design available which looks really good on lock screen. Some of them are really unique clock style which is really impressive. And talking about impressive features, this room supports wide wine L1 security level which means you can stream Netflix and other streaming sites in full SD. And Antutu benchmark score of this ROM is 163546 which is not that great but the performance of this ROM is really impressive and won't let you down. Talking about the performance I checked playing PUBG in this ROM although you cannot play in extreme frame rate and high graphics but the gaming experience is good. You can only play up to high frame rate on smooth graphics. If you really want to play on extreme frame rate then you can use GFX tools. But remember this is not a gaming phone so you won't get flagship level gaming experience but can have much better user and gaming experience than MIUI room. This is how notification panel looks like. You can also add and remove toggles in this place. There is inbuilt screen recorder available and in this screen recorder you can select device audio and microphone both. Which is really good feature for gamers who use to stream games. Now let's jump to settings section and see what features are available in settings sections. In this Nusantara project you will see different kind of cool animations whenever you enter into any settings and this feels really good when you open any setting menu. Inside network and internet setting there is private DNS options available. Then there is Nusantara wings menu available from where you can do lots of customizations. Like as you can see on my status bar I have customized date and time settings with different color. You can do even more customizations from this Nusantara Wing setting. There are lots of settings and customizations options inside it. So I'll enter on this section later in this video. Now I'll go back and enter into apps and notification menu. From here you can see all recently opened applications. Also you can enable chat bubbles, see notification history and manage permissions of applications. And inside battery setting there is adoptive battery available which will detect when apps drain battery. Also there is adoptive charging available in this Nusantara project room. Adoptive charging is one of the most useful features Google rolled out. Which is something that can help maintain the battery's original capacity. From here you can set stop charging and resume charging level. And battery backup of this room is also good. Now I'll go to display setting, there is lock screen setting inside it. Also from here you can enable dark theme, night light, font size, 
display size etc there is sound setting available inside there is normal features like sound volume vibration and haptics do not disturb charging sound and vibration etc on storage menu you can see how much storage is occupied by photos videos music movies games etc you can also manage storage and delete large file from this manage storage section also there is privacy setting from where you can manage privacy and permission of your phone there is security option where face unlock and fingerprints are available also there is app locker option available and from accessibility setting you can enable screenshot and gestures navigation and on system setting there is also gesture option and other features like date and time backup reset options multiple users and xiaomi parts are available and inside xiaomi parts there is mi sound enhancer headphone type option clear speaker etc now I'll go to nusantara wings setting there are lots of settings available in it there is system section lock screen section status bar section and hardware section available and from all of them you can do lots of customization at first i'll go to theme section and inside it there are lots of features available from here you can change font accent color icon shape etc you can change system theme to light google dark pitch black solarized dark nusantara clear and material ocean but i like dark pitch black theme also you can change icon shape style there are different icon shape available you can select any one you like in this nusantara wings there is huge number of customizations available showing each and every customization will take lots of time Similarly, you can change lots of things from here. You can try them one by one and enjoy doing customizations. And some other features include taking screenshots from recent app section and you can also share that screenshot to different platform. Now I'll show you how to install this room. First, you have to download these two files from the description sections. First one is gapps and the second one is nusantara project room file. Now reboot your phone to custom recovery mode. I hope you have already installed custom recovery on your device but still if you haven't installed any custom recovery then watch my video from the description section to install custom recovery. Now you have to enter your lock screen password or pattern. Then it will redirect to custom recovery section. This is Orange Fox custom recovery and don't forget to keep full backup of your valuable data because this process might need formatting your phone. Now here go to wipe section and select Dalvik, Cas, System, Vendor and Data then swipe right to wipe them. Now it's completed. Go to files and select that Nusantara project room file that you have downloaded and again swipe right to confirm flash. This will take some time to flash the room. Now it's completed. We have to go back again and select G apps file and flash it. After flashing G apps, click on reboot system. Then your phone will reboot to system and if in case your phone stuck on boot loop or return back to custom recovery section, then you have to format your phone and reboot it again. So in this way you can install this Nusantara project on your device. The UI is very much improved now and offers a smooth user experience. The overall performance of this room is good with no lags and also no heating issues as of now. For gaming we have the gaming mode with some tweaks. Overall talking about this Nusantara project, this room offers better user experience and performance than stock MIUI room. So you can use this room as daily driver too. I hope you like this video and if you do then hit like button, share this video and don't forget to subscribe Cracksway YouTube channel and set that notification bell to all so that you will get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.